It was a long ride from the big city, and I was hungry and wanted a famous pork chop sandwich. And Bob needed a haircut. Just a little off the top today. This is a little <laughs> different. I see one right there. I'm going to try to weasel it out <laughs> and try to cut it. <laughs> I got it. All right. There's so much to see around Mount Airy. Plenty of looking and shopping and so many places to eat. The squad car tours take you to all the highlights from Wally's store. And you know where to go if something breaks down. And they're still lining up to go in. Careful now. From this small home and humble beginnings, we can follow Andy Griffith's life story. We start our tour at the Andy Griffith Playhouse, which was once the Rockford Street Elementary School that Andy attended. And on this very stage, Andy had his first performance in third grade. His life's work is now preserved next door, thanks to Surrey Arts Council and Executive Director Tanya Jones. Andy's childhood friend, Emmett Forrest, began collecting memorabilia about 30 years ago and we began sharing that collection with the public in the 90s and built the museum in 2009, upfitted it last year with wonderful new exhibits that you're seeing today. Here there's displays of Andy's life's work, from comedy, stage, TV, and movies, to gospel and country music soundtracks. Oh, heck no, sir, I'm PLO. You're what? Permanent latrine orderly. And one bunch got it, and it made the other bunch just as mad as they could be. And friends, I seen that evening the awfulest fight that I have ever seen <laughs> in my life. And I feel that here in Mount Airy, we're very blessed that he was born here and that he took a lot of Mount Airy to the shows and recordings and things that he did in his later life. Okay. Down your vision hole and meet me at the vision hole. We the Andy Griffith Show yeah, ran from 1960 to 1968 with 249 half hour episodes for eight seasons. And the show is still much loved today. One thing I've always really loved about the show is just that it has really good, strong family values. I have a nine year old son and it's just a really refreshing show to be able to watch something with him. As director of collections, Abigail is responsible for all the memorabilia. You can choose a self-guided tour or rent an audio guide. I see he went to the University of Chapel Hill. He did. Uh, initially, he began studying uh, to be a minister. Uh, that, of course, evolved into uh, acting. And you, we see here he's in the Lost Colony. He was in the production from 1947 to 53. There are so many familiar show items, and then there are some surprises. Cindy and Andy Griffith gave us the sheriff's shirt that he wore in the Andy Griffith show, and it is our prize shirt. Otis Campbell, a beloved character from the Andy Griffith show, um, we have his jacket as well as his original hat, straw hat. Also in the museum, we have Don Knott's salt and pepper suit. We have one from the Andy Griffith show and then one that he wore on Return to Mayberry. Uh, both suits, you know, he wore when he went on date night or on Sunday, um, especially on his dates with Thelma Lou. Oh, I love the show. I still love it. I watch it all the time. And I'm never tired of it. I think it's the greatest show ever on television. And it is. And people love it from all over the world. They come here and they tell me stories of how it affected their lives. I'm like an old aunt to people. They grew up with me. And it's really kind of sweet and wonderful. And I don't think of anything else I ever did that meant as much to me as the Andy Griffith Show. The Andy Griffith Museum is at 218 Rockford Street in Mount Airy. And it's open Monday through Saturday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday from 1 to 5. Meet Betty Lynn Days are held every third Friday from 1 to 3 p.m. and you can meet Betty for autographs and pictures. For more information, give the museum a call at 336-786-7998 or go online to andygriffithmuseum.com.